today we're going to use ImageJ, a free image analysis software found on NIH's website. Um, we're going to use it today to quantify uh, an agarose gel that I ran earlier. Um, what we want to do first is open up the program. I have it here. Click on File. We're going to open up our gel image. I have it saved here. Open it up. Now if you look at the image, uh, the bands are pretty straight when I took this image using a BioRad Gel Doc XR. But if you needed to rotate the image, uh, the function is under here image, transform, rotate, and you could rotate this arbitrarily however you wanted to. Basically, what you want is the bands to be about 180 degrees lengthwise. But we're not going to do that. Um, after that, what we want to do is click on image, click on look up, go to lookup tables, and click on invert, and it's going to invert the image so the bands are black. Next thing we want to do is use the rectangular tool, click on that, and then highlight the bands that we want to analyze, and making sure that all the bands are boxed in. Now we want to select this area of interest by pressing command 1 and uh, you see that little 1 pop-up that means we're designating this area of interest number 1. Uh, for PCs it's going to be control 1. Next thing we want to do is go to analyze, go to gels and then we want to go to gel analyzer options. Um, you have to make sure just um, this box is unchecked invert peaks and these values here are default just leave them alone everything else leave alone click on OK go to analyze go to gels and then go to plot lanes and here we have the plot of our gel image so this first peak represents this band here and this peak represents this band here so if you look at it uh, the intensity of this band here, number two, is more intense than band one here. And that's indicative according to this plot of the gel image right here. So now um, what we want to do is uh, add a, give this a value. So we do that by using this segmented uh, straight free line tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to isolate each peak. So go like this and make a straight line dividing the first peak from the second peak, trying to be as even as possible. Bear in mind this is only a semi-quantitative tool and it is not good enough for publishing. But if you really want a truly uh, quantitative values, you would use real-time PCR. Um, so let's get this done. And I have eight bands here, so there's going to be eight separate peaks. I'm not doing a very good job, but it's good enough. All right, once we have that done, what we want to do is go to the wand tool, wand tracing tool, and we're going to assign each peak uh, a value, um, an area value. So click on that and then click on the first peak and you see this pop up right here in the results box. Uh, it assigned this first peak an area uh, of this value. Then we want to go to the second peak, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And now there's values assigned to all of these. Next thing we want to do is go to analyze, gels, and then label the peaks. And then from there, we get these values of these percentages here. And we have these values now. And it would appear here that this peak here is the lowest in intensity. And if you go back to the original gel image and you kind of look at it, you see this band here is the most faintest and it's indicative of the low value that it was assigned so if you want to 
plug this into a Excel spreadsheet and look at the highest intensity band, which is 15.22, divide that by itself and you get this 100%, then take this value and divide it by that, uh, you get a percentage of knockdown. Well, there you have it, folks. Just bear in mind, this is a semi-quantitative um, way of approaching, of quantifying a gel. Um, it's good for just quick and dirty experiments, but not good enough for publishing. Good enough to just give you an idea, a rough idea, of the direction you want to go in your research. All right, good luck with this.